This is the Mormon Temple in uh, Temple Square, Salt Lake City, one of the main attractions of the city. 70% of Utah's population is actually Mormon. Not all Mormons believe in having multiple wives. Salt Lake City's real cool and all, but I'm kinda anxious to get to California. I slept in Salt Lake City last night. I spent most of the day trying to upload my fifth video onto YouTube. But trying to do so required me to walk and drive around a lot of the city, so. I think I've uh, had enough with Salt Lake. I'm gonna try to see the uh, the salt flats on the way. I've seen them on TV and stumble upon so I'm hopefully get to California like tomorrow. This is Salt Lake. It is very buoyant. These are salt flats. They go forever. It's just salt. The real road ends right here. The uh, salt flats are known for their raceways. A lot of world records have been broken here, I guess because it grips better. It appears that the salt flats are fun to drive on. So, I guess I'm gonna drive on these salt flats. We'll see what the hype's all about. It's like slippery. I'm stuck. That sucks. Nope, I don't got it. It's mud. Well, fuck. I'm in the middle of fucking mud. Fucking there isn't shit for fucking miles. Glad I got it on film, huh? I guess I gotta go walk before it gets dark. God, nice going, Derek, huh? I'm in the middle of nowhere, stuck. <laughs> walking, walking. I see lights. Some dumb kid from New Jersey. I guess did exactly what you're not supposed to do, huh? Even though it's a, it's a speedway and people fucking drive on it. There's tire tracks. Yeah, I didn't know it rained recently, but it appears that it has since it's like mud under. Makes good footage though, right? Those lights up there aren't getting bigger, but I've been walking for so long. Still walking. Those are the lights in the distance that I'm walking to. So I looked up on my phone where uh, th the town's gas station is. I looked up the number and I called and one of the people at the gas station is apparently coming to pick me up. I feel like an idiot, but uh, I'm sure whoever's watching this is definitely enjoying it. What's your name? Uh, Jose. Jose? Uh -huh. Jose here has picked me up. And Jose is being nice enough to bring me to a gas station to uh, try to get my car unstuck. But apparently, the guy who normally makes it unstuck costs six hundred dollars, right? Yeah, this is hundred dollars. And <laughs> I don't have six hundred dollars. <laughs> I showed the uh, tow truck driver for AAA my uh, the picture of my car getting stuck, and he's like, "Yeah, it's over hundred feet, and it'll only cover hundred feet." So tomorrow. I'm gonna have to pay the guy. And normally it costs like 400 bucks, but uh, he said I'll do it for 100. So now I gotta find a place to stay, but the guy working right here said that his friend has a free coupon for a motel, and I think I might get that, so I might luck out and have a place to crash too. Could be worse. My uh, place to stay fell through, so I guess I'm crashing at this gas station until the morning. slept on a little bench in a gas station and I got my car unstuck though. I'm now in the Pacific time zone, three hours behind New Jersey. If you're traveling across the country, definitely have AAA and definitely have a smartphone. I do need to get my car washed, A, because I want it to look nice for California and B, because these are my floor mats that I tried to get uh, my car unstuck with and now I don't even have my floor mats on and it's all dirty. Just got into uh, 
Reno, Nevada. Got this cool little stage set up. Just had the dankest cup of coffee. There's lots of these around here. A lot of these too. There's a lot of these too. Reno 911. We're such a commercialized city. I'm the only one walking down the street. I don't understand. This is Chris. What's up guys? Let's go uh, see Reno. Super old church in a pretty modern city. Someone got killed in there. World's largest outdoor man-made rock wall. This is an $8.50 beer right here. Innocent gun. It's amazing. Apparently it's worth every penny. It is pretty tasty. It's very tasty. In uh, Nevada, you could light a stove and casually walk right inside a casino. Chris here has brought me to this burger joint. He said it's the best in town, right? It's probably the best in the West. Best in the West, and I'm going to get the awful awful. You know what an awful awful is? An awful awful is a half pound patty on an onion roll served with lettuce, onions, and tomatoes, and secret thousand dollar sauce. I hope you enjoy your burger. It's the best in Reno. Chris brought me here to six more burger meetings. You want a ball like me, nobody works so deaf. I teach a hat, I had a rock, so I can fly, start kill. That's why I'm in the whip, screens fall from the sky, running by with chicken and me, branding the rock. Chris here is a good Samaritan. We got leftover french fries. Where are we going right now? Virginia City. What's Virginia City? A Wild West shootout town. It's got all the old western signs and stuff. It's pretty cool. Parking ticket. This guy's meter is expired, but I'm such a nice guy. So I am in Lake Tahoe, California. I have now successfully driven from New Jersey across the country to California and I feel pretty accomplished. I still have plenty more videos to come because I do have to get back to New Jersey and if all goes according to plan, I will be leaving the country at some point during this trip. I'm not going to tell you where I'm planning on going because that would kind of ruin the surprise. Walmarts don't let you sleep in their parking lots in California. So, I gotta find a place to sleep tonight. So last night's the first night that I didn't sleep in my car in a Walmart parking lot. I drove onto some residential road and uh, parked my car along with all the other people whose cars were parked on the road. I mean, getting up was a little weird since all these people were walking past me, but other than that, it worked out pretty good. Just driving along the road, got off the exit. Chilling. This is your average looking tree. And this is a redwood. I'm six foot two, so maybe that'll put the size of these trees into a better perspective. I pretty much drove six hours north today, chilled at the redwood trees for about two hours, and now I'm shooting back down south, probably four to six hours to San Francisco. So I'm probably gonna be driving about 12 hours today. There's a hitchhiker with a sign that says he wants to go to San Francisco. So I'm gonna pick a hitchhiker up. What's up, man? I'm trying to go to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, hop in, hop in. Wow. Wow. My name Derek. Derek. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Argentina. Argentina? Where are you from? New Jersey. We're gonna be on YouTube. My name is Christian, I'm from Argentina. Golden Gate Bridge. We're going over it. Christian here has an awesome pad to crash at. He's hooking me up with a place to stay tonight. It's probably a good idea to pick up California hitchhikers because you may just get a free quarter of weed. This is the place that I crashed at last night. Bedroom here, bedroom here, bedrooms, stairs right there. Sick studio in here. And this is the kind of place that I would want to live at when I'm older.
takes 27,000 of those cables to make one huge one. That in the distance is Alcatraz. Okay, Ozzy Osbourne's over here. Yeah. Oh man, it's the greatest day of my life. This right here, people used to bathe in in the early 1900s. Doesn't look too appealing right now, though. One thing that I didn't do this week that I'm kind of upset about is I didn't film the streets or the roads in San Francisco. They are very, very slanted. Had a lot of interesting experiences this week. It's a little lengthy, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good week.